So in this video, I want to dive into something that actually came across me yesterday, I believe it was. It's this idea of fasting. You know, I think that we, we hear, when it comes to fasting, we hear a lot about things like diet, right? Fasting from food, right? Something that I feel like we don't have a tendency to take into consideration is that there are several different forms of fasting. And something that has occurred to me recently is that it's been around because of circumstances, because of, um, I don't even need to get into the logistics of why. It's just, it's very interesting because there are different forms of fasting other than, you know, just like food and everything. When you take, when you take a break from anything, right? When you, when you take a prolonged break from anything, it kind of, it's not that it puts your body into shock, but it, it's, it's a really interesting thing what it does to your space of awareness regarding what it is that you're taking a break from. And the interesting thing here is that, um, for me specifically, I have taken a break from using headphones. Not only have I taken a break from using headphones, but I've also, I've been using earplugs to sleep and the, 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 the lack of sound that my ears receive in the, uh, the, the period of time that I use the earplugs or that I haven't used the, uh, the headphones. It's, it's very interesting. And um, the reason why this is so interesting to explore is because I, I see myself now like realizing that when I reintroduce these things back into my life, it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's like a mini rebirth, right? It's like you're experiencing something that f the very first time you ever experienced it, it created a very interesting experience for you, right? The very first time that you ever heard a sound system, the very, the very first time that you ever wore headphones. Um, and for me, that's the case right now. Uh, it's, it's, it's a matter of, I, I haven't listened to anything on headphones in a little bit more than, um, two months now and, and it's very interesting and I know that reintroducing that into my life reintroducing that experience is going to be very profound but the very reason why it's profound is because that's something that I cherish the experience of listening to music um, you know I'm, I'm also a producer myself um, you know music production and everything and it's like it's the things that we take for granted it's the things that we don't really like realize in our lives and that when they're taken out or like this for instance wasn't even like consciously taken out like I wasn't like all right I'm going to go um, I don't know I'm gonna go two months without using headphones no it wasn't even like that it was like just like over time like I just didn't do it and it's very interesting to see how that effect takes place and how it affects the 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 dynamic the experience of life and I'm just I'm very I'm very interested in that, so I'm excited to reintroduce it and to see what happens. Um, but you know, there there are many different kinds of uh, fasting things here. I wasn't even really intending to talk about fasting, or maybe I was. I guess that that's kind of like foundationally um, the moral of this story. Um, but when you when you take when when you when you take time away from something or someone, you know, it uh, it creates a very interesting experience for you. For instance, when you fast from food. Um, your body goes through uh, ketosis. I believe it is. I was just waiting for that car to pass by. Your body goes through ketosis and it uses energy. It's it just the, the way that your body operates in that space of being, in that space of awareness, I guess you could call it, is very interesting. So that's what it is that I'm looking at here and just how that unfolds and everything. Um, yeah, the reason why I thought that it was necessary to talk about that was because I've really been wanting to listen to music on headphones recently, and um, it's just, it's, it's a really cool experience when you dive back into something after not having, like, you know, and here, here's another really cool thing to look at, right? Um, maybe you find yourself struggling with something, right? It doesn't matter what it is. Anytime that you step away from it, you know, for... A certain amount of time and then you reapproach it like the dynamic the experience could be completely different like you might find insights and realizations that you didn't find before because you were looking at it you know right side up instead of upside down um, there are artists out there that before they finish artwork they flip it upside down to get a different perspective you know um, maybe uh, you were hearing it 
in regular speed instead of faster speed or slower speed or um, in reverse speed you know like it's just like there are different ways there, there are always different ways of looking at things and the more ways you allow yourself to look at things the more expanded your perspective and your awareness will become um, and that actually brings me to the next thing that I wanted to talk about uh, I was just making uh, TikToks about um, what was it low self-esteem and I came to the conclusion that a low self-esteem is a fucking, it's like, it's like a fucking illusion. And the reason why it is, is because it has nothing to do with us. The reason that people have low self-esteem is because somebody else gave it to them. <laughs> like, you know, low self-esteem, for instance, like, okay, here's, here's the belief. I am a worthless piece of shit who is not deserving of anything good. Okay, yep, that's going to plant an idea of low self-esteem. Or, no, that, that's going to be, that's going to result in low self-esteem. But those are, the, those are the foundational belief systems that drive it that way, that dictate it that way. And it's like a fucking illusion because, you know, this person right here gave it to this person. This person didn't see themselves clearly. This person is taking what this person is giving to them because this person is just way too vulnerable to recognize the difference between this and that. But it's just, it's very interesting. It's very fascinating how this stuff works. Yeah, any, anyone that has low self-esteem, um, they're just carrying around belief systems from somebody else. That's all that it is. There's nothing wrong with them. It's not like there's, you know, it's, it's, it, it, and, and that's on the subject of seeing things clearly but that's also important because that also has to do with fasting because when you allow yourself that break from being within you know a uh, an experience and all of the thought processes all of the belief systems all of the you know the the feelings and the behaviors that come with it and everything when you take yourself away from that when you give yourself a break from that right you allow yourself space to see and think and feel and behave differently right and you know like when you when, when it comes to that kind of stuff it's it, it's very possible that you could come away with the perspective of wait where did this stuff come from and this stuff referring specifically to you know self-esteem but specifically within self-esteem a low self-esteem okay so where did this stuff come from oh well it's it's you know it's it's uh it's clear that okay well how was how was i raised what was the conditioning like okay i was raised by these two people that saw themselves this that way this, this that and the other way and that affected me based on that and it's just very interesting when you when you uh look at it from that standpoint and it changes the dynamics of everything it allows you to step away from you know what has been and like realize like oh wow like yeah that's um that was never me that's not mine i don't have to carry that um and it's very powerful because a lot of people out there are carrying around a lot of shit that is not theirs to and it is it is matters of low self-esteem it is matters of just shit that is not theirs like in actual therapy i've come to conclusions oh wow okay so i i am worthy i was never not worthy I just carried around these belief systems of unworthiness based on this, that, and the other that this person tried to give me or that person tried to give me. But really, um, that was just the way that they saw themselves and they really have an inability to do this or do that and this is how they see themselves and they were trying to project that onto me. Nothing to do with me. It's very interesting. And that is why it's so important to get that outsider's perspective because if you don't, you're going to walk around with a bunch of weight that is not yours to carry. That's just the way that it is.